Vasilisk. Where do I begin? Explosive, unstable, seemingly indispensable. Weird combination. He's the kind of guy who every time you turn around has exactly what you need. Knife, beer, length of chain, blanket, uncanny. Kind of creepy, actually. So Avas trusts this guy? Avas is no fool. He knows how dangerous Vasilisk is. But he is very useful. <coughs> Became Avas' right-hand man, despite Vasilisk's little hobby. This just keeps getting better and better. Yeah. He'd throw his enemies in a pit and then cover them in cement. Oh, thanks. I'm so looking forward to meeting this maniac. The bookie can tell you where to find Vasilisk. He's got a lowdown on everything going on at the quarry, but the bookie would sell out his grandmother if the price was right. Don't trust him. Don't trust anyone in that godforsaken sinkhole. Hope at least the booze is good. Out. Avas's life is on the line. If you raise an alarm, Vasilisk may panic and kill him. Where is going to find Baba Yaka tonight? <laughs>
Vlad is going to fight with Baba Yaga tonight. You can't miss that. So, how about we go somewhere more private? Hold your titties. I haven't made up. <coughs> it's your lucky day. I'm looking for the man at the top. Very tough. I'm running a business here. You want my time? You got a bet just like everyone else. Ah, eh, fine. You're lucky I'm not in the mood to make a scene. Yet. Make your fighter. Place your bet. Enjoy your winnings. I've played your little game, not talk. Where can I find Abbas? He likes to keep a close eye on the business, you know? Where is Abbas? Well, I honestly have no idea. You like betting, huh? Let's bet on how many punches I give you before you have permanent brain damage. Wait, what? Hey, you're a big guy. I'm thinking between 30 and 40. Okay, talk with Madame Rue. She runs the brothel and she knows everything about everyone. Tell her I sent you and she won't be afraid to talk. Good. Monsieur, I know what ails you, and I have the perfect remedy. You need a woman. Or two. Take your pick. I'm not interested in that. Bookie told me that you can help me. I'm looking for Avas. Honey, I'll tell you what. I'll set up a meeting with a friend who might know something. In the meantime, why don't you take a break? Relax. Thank you, ma'am, but... You know you want it. There's a bed upstairs. Very, very comfy. 
Find some company and enjoy yourself for a few hours. Where is Avas? There's someone who will know where Avas is. His right hand in business. I'm listening. My girls had a man, known as Vasilisk. He has been talking with some of the boys at the barracks about how old Avas is and ill-suited to lead the business right now. It's not enough. Maybe he knows something about Avas. Hello. Fuck So, how about we go somewhere more private? Hold your titties. I haven't made up my mind yet. Ah, oh, here it goes. I can't listen to yet another sob story. Everyone's got it coming. It's over, Vasilisk. Let the old man go. I agree with the American. I really think you should listen to- Shut him. up. Okay. Mr. North, how lucky for us to meet again. Drop the weapon. You must be fucking kidding. It was worth a try. It seems you have me in a bit of a spot. So, how about we play a little game? Fuck your games. Jonathan, you don't get it. I'm in control. Now, there are three of us, and three rounds in this pistol. If the old man dies, you get to ask me all about Robert North. If you die, the old man walks. And you? I'll be dead. Of course, you could shoot me now and save the old man. But deep down, you want to know about your brother. Don't you? Exactly. Shall we begin? One. Congratulations, old man. You live to annoy another day. Two. That's twice now, Mr. North. Don't you think your luck has to run out sometime? Bye-bye! I'm sorry, but you don't get to play. Three. Grandpa, are you all right? Grandfather? Yes, my dear, yes. I am well. This is your grandfather? Yes. This old bastard is all I have. I'm in your debt, friend. Anything I can do? Name your price. I need to know everything about Vasilisk and the people he's working with. 
Well, seeing as I am no longer in immediate danger, I'll be only too happy to help. But let's get out of here first. I haven't been outside for days. jump in with an assist from time to time. Thanks, John. But let's please keep the assistance to a minimum. Or what? You'll break my spine like you did your commanding officer? Accidents happen. Don't fuck up my chance to dig up the intel on Robert. Got it? She's got it. Right, Raquel? Anything you say, John. Out. <laughs> 